Hello, everybody, this is Double Pulse, and, you know, remember the time when I told you guys, I think it was like the first vlog, this is like vlog number two or something like that, but, uh, you remember the time when I told you guys, you know, we were planning to do a Q&A once I hit 700 subscribers and all of this, well, guess what? We finally hit 700 subscribers! Yeah, we finally fucking did it! Yeah! An achievement, honestly, I mean, I think any achievement, any any achievement on YouTube, whether it be a thousand, a hundred subscribers, is some sort of form of success. I mean, shit, uh, I started this year off with um, 325, I started the year off, like, in January, 325 subscribers, and we're at the end of June, starting July, and I'm up to 700, so, with that being said... Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. Uh, I have to thank everybody who's ever liked the videos, who's ever watched the videos, who's actually subscribed to my channel, who's left comments, who's shared the videos on Twitter, who's got the things rolling, who's just, you know, continued to show support. And I, you know, there's not much else I can say about it except the thanks, and you guys are awesome. Now... Don't get jealous. There is four or five people that I do have to give huge props to, to keeping me motivated through all the times or throughout this entire year on doing YouTube. Because I'll be honest, there was a point, and I think everybody has this. There was a uh, point in YouTube where I just wanted to stop. Uh, you know, I was like, uh, "Shit, I want to stop." I didn't know where I was gonna even, even take my channel. I don't even know where I'm still taking my channel. My channel is still in this like growing phase, where I'm doing the commentaries, I'm doing the trailers, I'm doing uh, these, what these like cinematic gaming video things, and all of that's awesome. But you know, it was like I needed some sort of you know motivation and support. And one of the things that I've came to the conclusion is I just decided, fuck it. We're a variety channel now. We're, we're just going to fucking do whatever I want. If I want to do it, I want to do it. And I got the motivation from so many different YouTubers. But here's the four YouTubers, actually four or five YouTubers, that I have to give props to for keeping me motivated, to keeping me want to do this. And whether you guys know it or not, you guys are, like, the fuel. Like, when I see other people do, when I see other people upload videos and create content, I feel more obligated to do the same thing. It keeps me going. When I see you guys get successful on your channels, you know, it's not, it's not a form of jealousy. It's not necessarily, like, a form of competition for me. I am, I'll admit, I am a little bit competitive, but it makes me want to do the same thing. Not like do the same kind of content as you, even though my content's slightly similar. But, uh, shit, man. Yeah, I... It makes me want to continue what I want to do, you know? It, it's give, it's giving me that extra push. So, to the people that I want to give props out. First off, I want to give props out to Boogie2988. He is a longtime friend, a uh, big time YouTuber. Uh, if you guys don't know, I moderate his Twitch streams, and I'm there for the most part. And being able to be this guy's friend and talk to him on Skype, all this other stuff, it's just been awesome, you know? He's given me some advice. He's uh, telling people don't give up. His videos are motivational. He's just, he goes through so much as it is, and he's just truly an amazing person. Second person I want to give a shout out to is Review Tech USA. Now, reason I want to give a shout out for or shout out to him or give props is because he's gave a shout out to me. I mean, a good amount of the subs actually came from that shout out and actually have helped me grow my channel and I've been taking pointers from him and People are going to see, people are going to notice, and people are going to comment that 
yeah, a lot of my commentary videos are in that kind of similar format. But we've got how many people? Other, like, I'm not the only commentator on YouTube. There's 100 other people comment or commentating the same topics. But, you know, the fact that you guys, like, some of you guys choose to watch me and continue and actually choose to subscribe to my channel, that's fucking awesome. The third guy I want to give a shout out to, and this kind of combined with the fourth one as well, is Average Rage Gamer. Um, Average Rage Gamer and Thunder. Uh, if you guys didn't know, me, Average Rage Gamer, and Thunder, and Eric, we all did a video together. We did a 50 minute video, and I got to talk to him about how did you get, how did you grow his channel, how did he do this, I got to ask him questions. It's almost like an interview kind of thing. And it turned out very well. And I urge you guys, if you guys haven't seen that video already, click click on the link below. I'll leave it in the description. It was amazing. But, you know, he he uploads constantly. And some same with Thunder. And Thunder, we're working on a gaming channel together. We're working on a Thunder Pulse gaming channel. And, um... It hasn't obviously taken off yet, but we are working on things. We've done, we're starting Let's Plays, and I feel like I finally have somebody that I can work with and start building something from the ground up, and it feels great. So, obviously, I got, now that I got that all of the way, um, subscribe to all those people. They are truly amazing people. Um, uh, let's talk about this Q&A, because... The video is going on seven minutes long, and I need to tell you guys, this is when the Q&A starts. The Q&A starts right now. So feel free to leave your questions, uh, gaming-related questions, whether you want to leave some personal questions, nothing too personal. Uh, but I, I think I trust you guys enough to leave mature questions. Um, and this will be the true test. This will be the true test to see how many people, how dedicated the fans, how dedicated the, you know, the viewers that I have on this channel, like, how dedicated we are. Like, how dedicated are we truly by hosting a Q&A? And what I plan to do is it's still in the works. I might consider changing it, but... The idea was, this was the start-off video for the Q&A, and when we hit a thousand subs, I was going to take all the questions that I gathered from this video and read them in a video like this, and, you know, read as many questions as I possibly can in probably like 20 minutes. Pick 40 to 50 questions out, out of there, and... If we if we can push to a thousand subs, that would be fucking awesome. Now, if we still can't push to a thousand subs and we still get like forty or fifty questions, that's great as well. But that was my original plan to get a thousand subs and then release this Q and A video to kind of like get the water going. I want to see how many people, how many comments, how many questions we can get. And uh, the final thing I want to talk about is uh, YouTube culture. Now, I don't want to bring up too much about this. I, I was going to actually save this for a RAM video. <sighs> YouTube culture, man. Some people got it backwards, and then there's people who don't have it backwards. <clears throat> now, YouTube culture, to me, is it's not about me. And it's about you. It's about me and you. It's kind of about both of us. And you know you have true fans when people grow a community within your channel. Like, grow this ball, this community on YouTube. And if we can manage to pull that off, this would be great. This would be, an, this would be awesome. Anyway, guys, I uh, don't really have much to say on that. 
Um, but if you guys continue to like the videos and you kind of like what I put out, feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to leave those questions in the comments below. Feel free to like a video. Feel free to like and share the videos. And uh, consider subscribing already if you haven't for more content in the future. And I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.